came to figuring out what I wanted to do with the rest of my life, like I, when I really settled on art itself, um, I tried to frame out like why, why I wanted to make the stuff I wanted to make and who the audience was and you know, what was my ultimate goal about doing the artwork. And I really feel that like an artist is, is a person that needs to create, like for whatever reason. Um, you know, everybody's got their own motives for why they want to make stuff and why they, you know, why they want to present themselves or, or their vision to the world. And um, I realized that for me, it was about either the things I wanted to talk about, because I, I mean, I do have strong opinions when it comes to a lot of the things that I see in the world and, and how I feel about things. I know who I am um, and how I feel about things, but I've, I'm never vocal about it. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna go out and like, you know, um, you know, picket signs and all that kind of stuff. Like I'm, I'm like, I'm, I, I basically focus on my internalization of that. How do I feel? How does it make me feel? It gives me smarter, like situational awareness. So every time I go and I talk to people about stuff or something happens directly in front of me, I don't kind of not know how I feel about things. I, you know, I did a lot of introspection about it. And uh, I really feel that like, uh, what I wanted to say with my artwork was um, exactly that. I wanted people to focus on the work itself and not necessarily I had to physically say or like who I am, but let what I wanted to say come out in my artwork and, and basically get people to look at it that way and it's not always serious it's sometimes just fun playful like i like to look at many different things and kind of uh draw inspiration from everywhere uh i haven't ever stopped learning certain things or um i just try and draw inspiration from everything and like just if i don't know something about it, about it it's more interesting to me with the piece that i did with nipsey so it's the first piece i ever did in graffiti alley and i learned about nipsey about 10 years ago um I heard him on the, the one of Drake's, I think one of his mixtapes, and it was a track he did with him called Killer. Instantly knew, you know, he existed. Um, years down the line, um, I watched like freestyles constantly, constantly on YouTube, going out holes. You know what I mean? I watched like. You know, Hot 97, <clears throat> uh, Power 107, and like all this stuff, and like and like uh, Sway in the Morning. So I'm constantly always watching freestyles. I love hip hop. I grew up on it, right? Yeah. And um, every once in a while, I I catch a Nipsey doing a freestyle, or you know what I mean? I'd be like, oh, this, this guy's pretty good. Like, and, and you can tell where he was coming from was from a raw place. But it wasn't even his music that really got me. It was his interviews. You impress them with their riches. I mean, what what do you think is the? How do we get that out of that mindset? I mean, I feel like that's insecurity. Material things ain't nothing, you feel me? At the end of the day, it's who you is, you know? You wasn't born with it, you gonna die without it. So if you feel you need some, some diamonds or some jewelry to get out of female, it's because you feel you lack something within yourself, you know what I mean? So all that, as far as that angle, it's like, I feel that's insecurity. Right, and my parents were always pushed a really positive, like self-speak kind of like uh, attitude to me. And I grew up with a lot of different people. Uh, people in great positions, people in horrible positions, you know what I mean? And I, I navigated with my way through all of them. So um, the things that he would talk about, about building yourself up and, you know, becoming your own platform and uh, being real about the progression that he had in his life, which is what I believe about the progression I have in my artwork. Nipsey, for me, was all that real shit. And I got it all from his interviews, right? Like just where he would talk about um, how he modeled the way he grew, right? He, he designed it for himself and he took pieces from positive things and he wanted to come out of his situation and still give back to his situation and the people who were around him supported them, you know, and brought them up with him. And right. everything he talked was great, you know what I mean? He was actually for years my defense of hip hop and how like a lot of people were like, oh, hip hop, hip hop's trash, this and that. I'm like, well, have you ever heard of Nipsey? You know what I mean? Like he just was that blueprint for, for uh, a lot of different avenues that he represented. I mean, Graffiti Artist is one of our biggest tourist attractions in Toronto. Like right. two, 3,000 people walk through it on a weekend in the summer. Right. And so I knew it had a lot of eyes and I've been wanting to paint in there my whole life, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I looked at this as the perfect opportunity, but like I said, for the whole month, it rained every single day. Yeah. So I didn't have an opportunity to go there, but I was like, I scouted a location. I wanted, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna find a part that's maybe burned out. I don't wanna go over anybody's artwork. And, um, um, I went and I found this 
And my only goal going in there was to find an, a spot where I could see the Toronto skyline because every other mural I've ever seen in the world, right? You don't know where they're at unless they're geo, geotag, right? right? Yep. Um, like they're not, they're in back alleys or by trains or whatever it is. And uh, I wanted people to know that this mural was in our city. And uh, sure enough, I found the location and it had a frame around it, which was super random. And it has a perfect eye line to the sky, to our skyline. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, and I started making it. My whole goal behind making this mural was that I didn't want people to just see the mural. Oh, it's dope! Take photos with it and stuff like that. Like I wanted people to learn about Nipsey. So right. in his honor, what I did was I made the mural a smart mural, mm -hmm. right? What so, does that mean? so I mean, I'd never seen one before, but I thought it would be really cool. So originally, uh, you know, augmented realities a big thing people are using that on their phones and have different apps for it and whatnot but i needed to make something universal so you didn't have to have an app and load it up nobody's going to care about any of that stuff yeah. so uh, i decided to use qr codes which has been around forever everybody can read them and uh, it was the simplest way to get the information on it so basically what i did was beside nipsey's mural there's a section that says this is a smart mural um please scan the qr codes to learn about the great nipsey hustle right and there's three QR codes, and the first one links to um, the, this complex interview that, that they did with Nipsey. It's a five minute shortened version, so you kind of learn who is Nipsey Hustle, and that's what the title of it is. And then the second one is a breakdown, a full breakdown, 25 minute long video of every, al every song on his Victory Lap album, right? Where he's talking about why and what his inspiration was for all of them. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is Idris Sandu and the, the Breakfast Club interview where they talked to him. So you can learn about all the stuff that they were doing together, which is phenomenal, right? right yeah. And that was the aha moment for me to make that. And that's where I was like, you know what? Now I can make this. I, I really feel confident about doing it. And um, I mean, I've been a commission artist for eight and a half years. I never get a, a minute to breathe. Like I've, I've just steadily been doing this. Uh, I worked as a chef for eight years, constantly consuming my time with making making work, making art, yeah. just learning new things. So I very, very rarely get to make something for myself. Um, but this was very, very important to me because I really like, he gave me a lot of knowledge while I was, you know, growing up and, and like going through my shit. And I really wanted to, to kind of show people what I learned, you know what I mean, at any value, and if they can get anything from it, all the better. You know what I mean? It's It was the first piece in like maybe six or seven years that I made for myself. Um, and I did it like every Saturday over the course of like two months, two and a half months. And uh, you know, in between jobs, I'd go run there and go back, and one of the times I, I was working, I just happened to see you guys, mm -hmm. right? And that was super cool because like, <laughs> The beautiful thing about doing it in the alley is that like so many people want to take photos and videos there that like I had three videos made by complete like complete strangers and just sent them to me. I didn't even know they were like some people would just be, ah, can I film you? Can I photo like take photos and stuff? I'm 100 percent like I, yeah. I'm just there to make my thing, right? Right. And um, uh, people really like I, I met so many great people doing it because mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that really you know, connected with Nipsey and there's, and, and like people told me like, I was so happy that I made one in the city. And I, and I, I my, basically my only um, uh, validation for doing what was, if I know I need it here, and I want to see it mm -hmm. in our city, then I know other people do, right? right? So, um, and that's the, at the end of the day, I mean, it's street art, you, you kind of learn, um, you kind of learn that it's, it, it's, you know, live or die on the streets. Like it's, it's, there's not, you know, I mean, somebody can go bomb it tomorrow, I mean, who knows? But the point is, is that like, you get it out there for people and they realize that it's fleeting, it's not gonna be there forever. Um, I mean, hopefully it is, but uh, it's it's one of those things that just like, um, you gotta put it out there, you know? And you do it without the approval of anybody else. Right. Um, and that's one of the beautiful things I love about street art is that like, I, I don't need a gallery. I don't need um, um, somebody's approval to do this. I don't need somebody's approval to curate for other people to see it. Right. Uh, there's no censorship on it. Like I can do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of, of graffiti and street art. Yeah. Um, and that was uh, the big the big reason that I really wanted to put Nipsey on, on the wall there. And uh, I've got nothing but great feedback for it. And um, I, I hope some people have learned more about him. I know they have. Like, I mean, sure. when he passed away, you couldn't even, you couldn't even deny it you know what what he what he was able to do yeah. and um 
It, it was, it's, it's, it's a phenomenally tragic story. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yes. But at the same time, you look at people like that and you almost think that like, I mean, and, and not for nothing to the people who loved him and who were around him, it's a horrible thing to happen. Mm -hmm. But sometimes in history, the message just doesn't get across until something like that happens. Right. Right? Something tragic. There's a lot of great people in this world, but there's a lot of great people that lived so long that their message was never viewed. Yep. You know what I mean? And I really believe that there's a lot of people doing some great shit out there that nobody gives a shit about. Right. Right? Until something tragic happens, oh, and now we do a deep dive. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. The, the media didn't give a shit about all the great work he was doing. Yeah. All the community he had given back to, all the, 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 the fact that he had you know, hustled in front of his own store mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. he like, and used to get kicked out of it all the time, came back to buy the block. Yeah. That's a movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a fucking movie. Mm -hmm. So, um, it just deserved the attention, at least from me, if not from anybody else. And, uh, I just saw how many people were just making art of him for, you know, for clout and for bullshit reasons and just wanted to put it out there. And I, I, I just wanted to make something for myself. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it definitely translated to a few different people, and that's all I cared about. So.